It was a sunny afternoon off the coast of Sumatra. The ocean seemed calm and peaceful. But suddenly, everything changed. The Italian surfer Giulia Manfrini, cherished for her passion for the sea, was about to face an unthinkable tragedy. What started as a day of adventure took an unexpected and fateful turn that no one could have foreseen. This is the story of Giulia Manfrini. Giulia Manfrini was born in 1988 in Venaria Real, a small town in the province of Turin in the Piedmont region, Italy. From a young age, she felt a strong pull toward both the mountains and the sea, which led her to explore various sports early in life. Giulia began her athletic journey with skiing, but she soon discovered her true passion, snowboarding. This became a turning point in her life. With dedication and determination, she quickly grew into a talented snowboarder. Giulia's hard work was rewarded early on with a victory in the Italian Youth Cup during the 2006-2007 season, making a name for herself in the national snowboarding scene. This achievement laid the groundwork for her future in sports. She competed in international events, continually refining her skills and growing as a professional athlete. As a member of CUS Torino, she trained at a high level, constantly pushing her limits. Her expertise eventually led her to become a snowboarding instructor with the Associazione Maestri Sci Italiani, where she shared her knowledge and passion, inspiring others to enjoy the sport as much as she did. Unfortunately, her career in snow sports was eventually interrupted by an injury. While this might have marked the end for some, Julia saw it as an opportunity to embrace a new passion, surfing. This transition from snow-covered mountains to ocean waves offered her a fresh challenge and a chance to rediscover herself. With the same determination she showed on the slopes, Julia threw herself into surfing. She earned a teaching certificate from the International Surfing Association and began her adventures at iconic surf spots around the world. In 2013, Julia graduated with a degree in law, but her passion for adventure led her down different paths. She co-founded A Wave Travel, a travel company offering adventurous surf and snow trips. Through A Wave Travel, Julia crafted unique experiences for sports enthusiasts, inspiring them to explore the beauty of nature and embrace the challenges of the waves and mountains. Her goal was to take people to remarkable destinations, sharing with them the magic of surfing and snowboarding. Outside of her work, Julia loved writing songs, dancing, playing beach volleyball, and always sought out the biggest waves. Her life was filled with adventure, creativity, and a deep connection to nature. On October 18th, 2024, Julia Manfrini was surfing in the waters near Ombak Bang Bang, close to Masukid Island in the Mantawai Islands, Indonesia. This region, known for its challenging waves, attracts surfers from around the world each year. Julia was there to enjoy the sea, accompanied by friends and fellow surfers, as she had done so many times before. During one of her surf sessions, something unexpected and tragic occurred. While she was on her surfboard, a large swordfish suddenly leapt out of the water, piercing her chest with its sharp bill. Lamudin Sidigar, the acting head of the Disaster Management Agency of the Mentawai Islands and an expert in regional disaster response, described the incident as a rare and unpredictable event. He plays a key role in safety protocols for both locals and visitors, highlighting his expertise. The incident is considered a freak accident due to its extraordinary nature. Swordfish are known for their speed and strength. While they typically avoid humans, in rare cases they can react unpredictably if they feel threatened or startled. Their sharp bills, designed to wound prey, can be deadly upon contact. This underlines how rare and tragic this incident was, an unfortunate convergence of circumstances with a fatal outcome. Immediately after the accident, her friends, Alexandra Ribas and Massimo Ferro, rushed to get her to shore as quickly as possible and sought medical assistance. 
Julia was taken to the Pei Pei Pasakiat Telelu Health Center, but despite the efforts of her friends, local staff, and doctors, her injuries were too severe. Julia passed away shortly after arrival. Medical reports indicated that Julia had sustained a 5 centimeter deep puncture wound to the left side of her chest and showed signs of drowning. The news of her passing spread quickly, both locally and internationally. James Colston, her colleague and co-founder of A Wave Travel, remembered her as someone who had inspired many in the surfing world with her enthusiasm and positivity. Fabio Giulivili, the mayor of Inaria Real, shared his sorrow in a message on Instagram. Julia, only 36 years old and from Venaria, had already fulfilled her duo dream, surfing, her favorite sport, and opening a travel agency for sports vacations. And so, in the prime of her life, she has tragically been taken from her loved ones in the Indian Ocean. Julia's passing sent shockwaves through the surfing world. Friends, family, and colleagues openly mourned her loss. The Indonesia-based surf charter company, Naluat Mentawai Blue, shared their grief on social media. It is with an extremely heavy heart, RIP our beautiful, friendly, always smiling, and happy friend, Julia Manfrini, one who had such a deep love and overflowing excitement for life. A Wave Travel, the travel company Julia co-founded, confirmed her passing and referred to the incident as a freak accident. Julia was the lifeblood of this company, and her infectious enthusiasm for surf, snow, and life will be remembered by all that came in contact with her. She crafted unique experiences and inspired countless clients and friends to follow their dreams, no matter the risks. Her tragic end was not only a loss to those who knew her personally, but also to the entire community that drew inspiration from her courage and love for the ocean. We believe she died doing what she loved, in a place that she loved, stated co-founder James Colston from A Wave Travel. Julia's story is one of passion, adventure, and tragedy. Her life was centered on freedom, the pursuit of the perfect wave, and her deep connection with nature. She was known as an adventurer who never shied away from a challenge. The way she passed, due to a creature that like her is tied to the ocean, shows how closely adventure and risk can sometimes intertwine. Julia's legacy lives on in the people she inspired, the young surfers she taught, and the friends who continue to see her as a model of courage and zest for life. Her life story remains a source of inspiration for many who seek to experience the beauty of nature and embrace the challenges of adventure, regardless of the risks that may come with it.